Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now let's solve this problem. It says that a jet plane having mass of 7 megagram takes off from an aircraft carrier such that the engine thrust varies as shown by the graph. So this is the jet and which takes off from this carrier which is moving with a velocity of 40 km per hour and th the thrust of the jet engine is given this f as a function of time this a uh, we are given this graph and it is said that determine the plane's air speed after five seconds we have to find the speed of the, this uh, jet plane after five seconds so we are given that uh, the carrier is moving with 40 km per hour so initially the jet is moving with the carrier so that will be the initial velocity of the jet as well so we can write that v1 V1 is equal to 40 kilometer per hour. So 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters and 1 hour is 3600 seconds. So this gives us V1 equals to 11.11 meter per second. Now we are going to apply the principle of impulse and momentum which says that mv1 plus the summation of the impulse due to the external forces is equal to mv2. So the initial velocity of the jet is that same v1 and the mass the mass of the jet is 7 megagram which is 7 into 10 raised to the power 6 grams and we can write this as 1 kg is equal to 10 raised to the power 3 grams so this will cancel out 10 raised to power 3 from it so we will have 7 into and this gram will cancel out as well so we will have 7 into 10 raised to power 3 so this is the mass is 7 into 10 raised to the power 3 v1 is 11.11 .11. And the impulse due to the engine thrust is given as a graph. So we have to find the area under this graph. So initially we have this area, this triangular area. So the base of this triangle is 2 minus 0. This is 2 minus 0 is 2. And this is 5 minus 0. This is 5. So now this area is plus 1 divided by 2. And this is 2 into 5. And remember that this is kilonewton, right? So we have to multiply this with 10 raised to power 3. And this is again we have to find this area. So this rectangular area. So now this base is 5 minus 2, this is 3 into this height, which is 5. So this area is plus 3 into 5, and then this area. So this is again triangular area, the base is 3 and the height, this height is 15 minus 5, so this is 10. So this is plus and again we have to multiply this with 10 raised to power 3 since the force is in kilonewtons. So this is plus 1 divided by 2, so the base of this triangle is 3 into 10 and this is in kilonewton this is 10 raised to the power 3 and this is equal to the mass mass is again 7 7 into 10 raised to the power 3 kgs into v2 v2 is required so now if we divide this whole equation by 10 raised to the power 3 so 10 raised to the power 3 will cancel out so we will have 7 into 11.11 .11 plus this will cancel out as well so we will be left with 5 3 into 5 is 15 plus this is 3 into 10 is 30 30 divided by 2 is 15 and this is equal to 7 v2 and if you want to find v2 the velocity of the jet after t equals to 5 seconds so we have to divide both sides by 7 so this will give us this give us uh, 16.11 so v2 is equal to 16.11 meter per second so after 5 second the jet is moving with a velocity of 16.11 meter per second so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning 
Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Dynamics.